Let's learn about the most important tool in medical auscultation, your stethoscope. Most stethoscope chest pieces have both a diaphragm and a bell. For simplicity's sake, we'll be talking about a stethoscope with a two-sided chest piece, with a diaphragm on one side and a bell on the other, like the one seen here. There are other parts to a stethoscope, but we'll be focusing on the use of the diaphragm and the bell in regards to medical auscultation. The diaphragm is better for picking up high-pitched or high-frequency sounds. Some examples of these are the sounds of S1 and S2, the murmur of aortic regurgitation, the murmur of mitral regurgitation, and a pericardial friction rub. The bell is better for listening to medium to low-pitched sounds. Some examples of these are the sounds of S3 and S4, and the murmur heard in mitral stenosis. Classically, when listening for heart sounds with the bell of your stethoscope, it should be placed lightly on your patient's chest or other auscultory areas. This means placing the bell on your surface with just enough pressure to produce an air seal. This is important because pressing the bell firmly on your patient's chest or other auscultory surfaces makes it function more like a diaphragm by stretching the underlying skin. Doing this may make low-pitched sounds such as S3 and S4 disappear when listening with the bell. This is in contrast to listening with the diaphragm, where the stethoscope can be firmly placed on the person's chest when listening. Additionally, the pressure to which you are placing the diaphragm on the patient's chest should have little to no effect on the pitch of a heart sound. In fact, the distance the stethoscope is from the chest can be used to grade an intensity of a murmur, which we'll talk about later in another video. So in summary, the bell of the stethoscope is used to listen for medium to low pitch sounds, whereas the diaphragm is used to listen for high-pitched sounds.